Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Charlie Ironmonger. Coming up Sunday and Monday, we are tracking a cold front that's going to lead to a potential for severe storms across eastern North Carolina. Now, this opportunity window or timing uh, will really focus more so around the evening and overnight time periods, but we'll start to see some storms kick off as we head through the afternoons. Now, a lot of this again will be fueled by both heat and humidity, but we've kind of seen that uh, here over the past several days and we're likely going to see that again as we head into well your Saturday as well. However, were these isolated storms possible? We'll get an extra boost as a cold front comes in coming in on Sunday kind of stalls over the area and then finally clears the coast as we head through your Monday evening to Monday night. So your severe risk will increase between the hours around 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, each day and then Main threats we're going to be tracking are going to be damaging winds and hail. These forward movement of the, the forward movement speed, I should say, uh, of these storms is going to again be accelerated because of that incoming front, and that's going to create a higher likelihood of those damaging wind gusts uh, that again we have seen here over the past uh, uh, several storms can create quite a bit of damage. Now we can't completely rule out an isolated tornado. The good news is the front is going to completely clear the coast as we head towards uh, I'd say sunrise. Excuse me. That's just supposed to say Tuesday, uh, not Monday. Uh, again, that uh, cold front will be clearing the coast Monday night into Tuesday morning. Here's a look at the whole system as it comes together. There is a low we are tracking. It will create strong storms across Missouri and portions of Arkansas as well as Kentucky and Tennessee later on today into tomorrow morning. Uh, but this front not expected to roll into eastern North Carolina at the very earliest on Sunday. Now timing again may adjust a little bit. We're still a few days out from this system actually arriving in eastern North Carolina, uh, but it's something we do want you to be aware of. So again, Sunday and Monday highlighted in red first alert weather days because of the potential for severe storms.